Hey, Mark Meldrum, Meldrum's a Monster Garage, and it's O Dark 30, and we're waiting for the Meldrum boys to come down the road and pick me up to take me to the Apple Festival today. So they should be pulling in any second. All right, here they come. Meldrum 1, Meldrum 2, 1948 Buicks. Just beautiful. Morning. Morning. All right, I'm going to ride in the formal sedan this morning with Mr. Meldrum. And Mr. Meldrum was behind us. And just in case you want to know, yes, the grasshoppers are out this early in the morning. And we will use our target to go down the road. <laughs> well, Uncle Chick, there's what remains of East Carlisle School. There you go. <laughs> yeah. We're traveling down Grafton Road. And here's where we uh, grew up on. There's Willow Haven. Right Willow there. Haven, right there. Wow. Bob Fry's house right there. <laughs> Tom Tomaszewski used to live up there, but they tore his house down. Wow. Kenny and Don Bliss lived over there. Oh, we for forgot to point out Tom Macbeth's house, too. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, Tom. And then uh, Joe's service station is no longer, that's uh, totally changed, isn't it? Yeah, they, they really spiffed up that property. It looks nice. This used to be where all the hot rods got their gas, and look at that. Yeah. It's crazy. It was always a nice looking house, but it was covered up by the mechanic shop. And we're coming up on Fuller Road where the famous Fuller Road Industries used to be located before it moved. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, since we were stopped a while, I jumped out of the uh, car. Good morning. How are you? Now you think this will go on the ground in the middle of the drought? No, nah, I doubt good. it. You're going to have a hard time. It ain't looking good, is it? All right, I jumped in with Mr. Charles Meldrum. Good morning. And we're getting directions, and they'll figure it out. Right. At least they got us off the street now. So how was your ride in your 48 Buick today? Pretty good. Yeah. It's running a little rough now. It's sputtering a little bit, but yeah. it's idling. Yeah, so the other one, the four-door was getting a little warm, so I'm glad they got us off the street. But, uh, yeah, look at this. this is a, here are these gorgeous cars. I got the hula girl in here. All right, now we are headed down the famous Broad Street. And it, the sun is shining, and we're going to look for a parking spot down here. I don't know what she said. Did she say park anywhere you want? Yeah. All right, we'll see what Mr. Meldrum picks today. Yeah. Woo, that sun is bright. Damn. Wow. Good thing we got a visor, huh? Yeah. this Jeff we're down in Elyria at the Apple Festival yeah. and they got a beautiful state high patrol display today isn't this cool I guess is even before your time Wow fury pretty cool 
And another Plymouth. Wow. My buddy Rob Ryder. 67 Chevelle. There's George. The rest of the gang. Hey, Evie. Oh, there's Jarrett. There's Paul. Now, what what year is this? Is this a 50? 50, yeah. Beautiful. Because it doesn't have vent windows. Ah, uh, okay. Remember the GMC didn't have vent windows. No, no. But the Suburban did. It was a 51. Very cool. And the back tail light was a stop light that he took out from the original light. You found Craig's Chevelle back here. Look at this. It's a beauty. Charlie, it's Buick time. Actually, it's time to go home. Yeah. So we're heading out. We traded cars, right? I think we traded cars. Yeah, you, you, you came in the green one. We're still a four, we're Dad, still in a 48 Buick. Dad didn't take his own advice. Yeah. Gotta hold it to the floor. <laughs> they were throwing apples at that car over there. Yeah, how do you like them apples? How do you like them apples? Uh-oh. All right, we're headed out. I don't know if jo Charlie and Rick got uh, jobs at Bugsy's, but I did fill out an application. You'll make a fine dancer, Charlie. Yeah, they're gonna use me for my beard. <laughs> oh, it was a beautiful day at the Elyria Apple Festival. All right, we decided to go down Willow Haven Drive. This is where it all started for 48 Buicks. This is where Dad used to drive his first Buick. Yeah. And Grandma was always like, he didn't think I knew he drove it to East Carlisle, but I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a garden right over here. And the garage is basically still right in front of us. And this was our old house right here. I went through those hedges on a skateboard one time and I was yeah, little... yeah, yeah. So Ricky's following us through here. Meldrum Parade Lab. Doing a victory parade from surviving down here. Now when we were growing up, that house wasn't there. But this was the Weber's house. And it was here. Charlie's getting worn out. And that, I'm going to show you a picture of this garage right in front of us. And uh, that's actually still the old garage. And that's where Rick stored his 48 Buick when he was 15 years old. Unbelievable. That, that picture you got. Now the reason they called this Willow Haven was there used to be a bunch of willow trees there. <laughs> now you don't even see one. Now it's Willow with a Haven. And I remember that house right in front of us had two purple vases on the porch there. Very cool. Hope you enjoyed that trip down memory lane. There they go.